All right, take it up to 100, presented by Head & Shoulders. It's officially time to take it up to 100, presented by Head & Shoulders. Devontae Adams, Packers knock off the Texans 35-20. to 20, 13 catches, 196 yards, two touchdowns. Most receiving yards by a Packer since Jordy Nelson back in 2014. And th this is a, another one of the most popular narratives the yeah. day after. Everybody asking, why didn't they double team? Why could they not double team? I'm at, surprised. At Devontae Adams. He was, uh, he was unbelievable. He really was. I mean, he's some route runner. He really is. He's tough. He's got great hands. You know, I think he's better after the catch than maybe I give him credit for at mm -hmm. times. Romeo Cornell, defensive coordinator for the Houston Texans, you know, interim head coach right now, came from the Bill Belichick school, right? I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. I think I'm as surprised as Rodney Harrison was on Football Night in America last night because he just, yeah, no Aaron Jones. You would think at some point, wait, okay, we've seen six catches for 110 yards now. Let's maybe what double. What form does the double team come in? Like literally two guys lining up over him, or one? They, they could do it either way, as far as like how What's their the defense. What's the most common is? way? Because I think people throw out double team all right. the time, and like how often does it really happen? Yeah, no, more times than not, a double team can be, you know, hey, safety over the top. I'm playing right. man to man, but I'm, I'm I'm allowed to trail him and play all the underneath routes. Or if he gets by me off the line of scrimmage. I can play for if he's going to stop and run a 20-yard out route, I'm going to be underneath it because I got help up top. So there's that type of double. And then there's also more of the bracket type of double where you could go, okay, hey, I got you man-to-man. -man. I'm going to play a little outside leverage on you and make you release inside because I got help inside. So when you break out, I got you. But when I break, when you break in, the other guy is going to get you, right? That's the other form of maybe double team, more of a bracket double team rather than the safety help double team. But never happened. And with this is where I think Rodgers and Green Bay are amazing. And it can go back to our conversation earlier about Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf. Rodgers is a machine. You give one-on-one -on -one to Devontae Adams, he's going to go, he's better than your guy. Right. And I'm better than anybody. So I'm just going to throw strikes and he's going to catch it. And they just will tear you apart. And they will force your hand that way. They will continue to go back to the well over and over. Lafleur is cool that way too, to where they force you, and then they're going to do something off of it. But yesterday, they never forced them. So right. they just said, let's keep it going. And I, I think making it one level more confusing as to why they didn't do some kind of, of double team. Yeah. Because who else are you really, really worried, worried about? about? I know. I think that's a great question. I th that's, that's, it's something Rodney brought up last night. There's no Aaron Jones in the lineup. I mean, is it Jay Sternberger we're worried about? Who was the, there's nobody. So you're right. That's where I just I'm I was totally amazed by that approach, and especially man to man, Houston secondary that is really Strugglesville. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just not good at all. There's nobody that can live on an island on that team, man to man with Devonte Adams, and I just am shocked that Romeo Cannell, you know, just died on the hill with that one. At Brennan Daly, 1252 asked, yeah. Devontae Adams is putting on a clinic today. Put him in your top 10 wide receiver list. Yeah, he is. I mean, listen, I, out of all my lists I've done in the last two years, my last top 10 receiver list is the one that deserves to be shitted on the most, okay? So I'll say that. I think it's sh. It deserves a sh. <laughs> it does. But yeah, uh, I, I messed that up. There's no doubt. I mean, he is. He's, he's proven that he's a top 10 receiver. I wish the guy could stay healthy all the time. But when he is healthy, yeah, there's really no weakness to his game. You know, not that he's a burner and always going to take slant 60 yards, but has certainly enough of that and just has great, great, what do I want to say, cachet, mm -hmm. rhythm with Rodgers, everything is just on point. We're, we're approaching the midseason yeah. point here. Pete, I think sometime coming up here, we should do like half of a regular show and then about 45 minutes on some re-rankings, some midseason. Yeah. Re all my other rankings have been right, so I don't know. I screw off on all my other rankings. They're my receiver rankings, okay? I didn't bring it up because it was wrong. <laughs> I know. I, just, I know. I know. No, <laughs> it does. It, you know, too many times I get that conversation anyways. Well, how could you have this guy one this year and that guy seven the next year? Yeah. Well, because it's a new year. It's just there's a lot of things that change. It doesn't hold – you know, the quarterback thing has messed everybody up because we just saw – Brady and Manning were one and two for 16 yeah. years straight. Right. So how could that ever change, right? And then you get into other positions and people just can't buy that sometimes. But there is. And the receiver won, as I've said all along, there's 20 top 10 receivers in football. There really is. It's like there's 10 top five running backs in football. It's just beauty of the eye of the beholder. Yeah, it's confusing stuff. Try it to is. keep up with this great brain of it mine. Is. Yes. 70% of the time it works. 
every time. 100%. 100% of the time. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.